this is what I'm currently working on. Um, it's a crocheted corner to corner dishcloth. And um, I'm making little patterns. This one I'm doing an owl. This is what it currently looks like. But this one I finished. And I just did a little heart on the inside. And then the other side is like the cotton dishcloth material. And what I'm using for this part of the corner to corner is the red heart string. Which, if you feel it, it feels like um like a scrubby material. So on this side, they could actually use for scrub. And the other side is the softer dishcloth. But I just wanted to show you my progress on my owl so far. Uh, this is what, what I go by to do my corner to corner. So I'll show you a little bit. Right now. I'm working on the gray areas which are colored green on my chart. And I work row by row, um, and then after I just cross cross it off after I get finished with a row. But I can do a more in depth detail on how to actually stitch the corner to corner. But I just wanted to show you um, my current progress on this one that I'm working on. And it's a very small hook. There's the size that I'm using because this string is very small it is tedious but I'm trying to make some for Mother's Day um, I want to make one for my mom and one for my mother-in-law for Mother's Day so it's just a great gift idea um, or you could sell them if you want so I'm gonna try to hopefully get into some festivals this year I have quite a bit of stuff made up. The corner to corner is easier to work with um, with a bigger yarn than this, but I wanted to do something a little special for Mother's Day and try out something a little different. This one takes me a little bit longer to crochet because the yarn is so small and the hook is so small. And sometimes it's just hard to get your hook to flow easy on these. The reason you see all these strings hanging is where um, I tie off when I end with a color. I can show you how to trim those. This is basically, you chain three, and then you do three double crochets in each of these holes here. The corner to corner is a little difficult to learn, um, but after you get started with it and get used to it, it's not so bad. And you can make all kinds of designs. I believe they even have an app that you can download. You can make your own designs. Let me count my squares. Okay.
Okay. I messed up, so I had to go back. Um, I just wanted to show you how to um, end off one of the colors. Uh, some people do it differently, and from practice of working corner to corner, um, so far this seems to be the easiest. It's best to just go ahead and um, pull it through. Pull this through. Then I just take my yarn and knot it like that. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to slip stitch in another color. So I'm moving on to the gray. I'm going to pull it tight. Again, I know this is a tiny hook. And pull it under and then just do a slip stitch and you are ready to go. Again, it's a chain three and then three double crochet. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and finish this out and then I'm going to show you how to trim off all these extra strings so you won't have that and you'll have a clean finish and then we'll do the back. I just wanted to show real quick um, I'm going to go ahead and trim some of these off because as I'm crocheting, uh, they're actually popping up and getting in my way a little bit. But before you trim these off, you can see the knot here. So what I do, you can also crochet over top of these as you're going along. Or, which is probably what I should have done, been a little easier. You can, sorry, I'm trying to see, you can tuck them in, just wrap it around, pull it through, and then you can go ahead and trim here. But I just kind of looked through because some of them I did crochet over top, um, but some I didn't. So I like to just look through beforehand. Um, see, like this one here is showing. Sometimes it's hard to get through there, it gets caught. Then I try to. Well. Here we go. You pull it tight. And that kind of covers that. So you can go through and, um,. Make sure your strings are tucked in before uh, you trim it. Because you don't want to trim it right beside of that knot. If you do, um, it can come undone. And especially since you're making um, a wash rag, you know, uh, it needs to be more durable so it doesn't come apart. And I'm going to trim this up and keep working. And I'll be back. I finished the owl. And I'm going to start the back part. And I use the peaches and cream cotton yarn. You need your slip knot. And I 
gonna just chain to match the same size. I will be doing a how-to tutorial video on the corner to corner for this. Just kind of wanted to show kind of how you put one together if you already know how to do the stitch. I just kind of line it up at the bottom. I might add a couple more. And usually once you start going up, it gets a little bit wider, so I do it a little bit shorter. I'll do one more. And I do half double crochets, so I skip my first two and go in. I just want to half double crochet all the way across and then when you get to the end I do I chain two and then you're gonna work your way up and you want this to be the same size as the owl and then I will show you how I stitch it together These make really, really nice dishcloths. Now you're just going to do your chain two, turn, and you go back into that first half double crochet, and you're going to work your way across, and then I'll be back to show you when I finish. Alright, I finished the back part. Oop, now i got to put it together. And it's good fit. I also put, um, I did a single crochet border around the back side just to make the edge a little nicer and make it a little bit easier to stitch together. Some of my strings I have left on the back side, but you're not going to see them anyway. So I left those. Pull this tight here. I just lay them both together and my first I just do a little slip stitch to connect it and I'm gonna chain one I do all single crochets all the way around but I usually do about two or three single crochets in each in each stitch so you have a nice thick border that goes around. I just do this the whole way around.
And see, once you put that border into it, it makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to stitch them together. Especially when you're working down the sides. Alright, I'm going to finish attaching these together and then I'll be back. Alright, I have finished putting it together. Let's see. This is the cotton side and this is the more the scrubby side. That's all done. I will be, like I said, I will be doing a, a video on how to do the corner to corner, a tutorial, and some more videos like this. I have a frog, actually, I'm working on next, um, that's just like this one, that I, I might do a video on it, but thanks for watching.